when you're an artist or when, you, when you're working with mediumship or any creative uh, media, sometimes it's nice just to relax and make a little meditation for yourself. And we're just going to make a little meditation in colour. We're going to go on to a little journey and in the journey we will meet somebody or we will come in contact with some object that we want to remember and bring back to us, bring back with us. I'm just going to start by using a little bit of yellow. Now yellow colour, yellow is the colour of healing, the colour of learning, the colour of going forward, the colour of creating. And this yellow comes along and as soon as you put your hand on the paper it becomes an energy. Just yellow and yellow to me means healing, means education, means learning. And use your pastel, use your pastel of colour. And yeah, just let things happen. And I always remember walking down a lane, walking down a lane. At this Stansted, there was, there was this beautiful lane you can walk down, and in the lane, there's a beautiful big oak tree. Beautiful old oak tree. Half of it's split, the trunk of it is split. Been there for hundreds of years, seen many people passing by, many people passing along the roadway. The bark is all gnarled, broken with age and time. And it always impressed me, this tree, because there seemed to be in the tree all sorts of little tree spirits or tree energies. When you're drawing a tree, just make sure you don't put too many heavy branches on it. Make sure the branches always go thin towards the end. Thin towards the end. And over the years the branches have grown and they've died back. They've grown away and died back. It's very really creative trees. And in the, in the middle of the tree, there was like a face looking at you, like an old man tree, like a man with a crown on, could have been anything, but a man with a crown on. And the roots, some of them coming out of the earth. And some of the branches that had been torn off with the wind or drawn down with weight and age. And some of the branches were left on the floor and rotted down. And the, two, the branches and the roots were mixed up. Making a little picture, a little meditation. And across the fields, there were some more trees, squiggly trees, if you like. So we're going on a little journey. And 
little journey in the mind. And the branches. Some of the branches were alive. Some of them have died back. Some of them have got the greens on. Lovely green, fresh greens. Fresh spring light green colours. And some of them have died back at autumn branches. The leaves have died. And it speaks a lot of the coming of the years and the going of the years. tells a little story. The branches and the bark falling off the trees. And in the background of this little meditation I can see a house just in the background within the distance of the field there's a little house and I want to talk to somebody who was brought up in the countryside who would remember the farming time or the spring time remember the times when the bluebells were coming to life Beautiful bluebells, springtime. I've got to put some blue in the picture. And some bluebells here. Beautiful blue, the promise of spring. The bluebells. And also the bluebells, the strong stems that comes that begin to grow. And the new growth that's coming through. And with the new growth, we get a lot of daffodils as well with the yellow of the daffodils. The beautiful daffodils. So springtime is full of colour, full of energy, full of promise for the future times. And I want to bring a memory of someone who was a child on a farm in quite an open countryside who would be very okay with the colours of nature and also is who is interested in healing at the moment. We're doing a course on healing and I've got to give you the colour of the sunshine, the colour of the sun, the person who has, was very independent very, very independent. Who liked the weather. Likes going out in nature. I want to talk to somebody whose birthday was in March got the link with March with this particular little meditation because it was a changing period in their lives and 
I've got to give you some old farm machineries as well. It's an old plough. The wheel of the plough is here. An old iron wheel. Bits of the plough are still left. And it comes in Victorian times. It's a very old plough. Maybe may have been helped, maybe something that would have put seeds in the rows. Harrowing. Harrowing the seeds in the rows. So we've got mechanisation coming in. An old house here that the person would remember. And I want you to just go back into time. And I want you to remember a, plant, a, a selection of flowers. I'm going to give you some primroses. I've got to give you a memory of primrose time because I think it relates to a mother figure. And you gave mother a bunch of primroses, which was very beautiful. And I want you to remember the time and remember the, the freedoms which you had as a child because it enabled you to fly as a bird. As an eagle with your career. And I want you to remember the words that your mother wrote on a postcard because you've been looking at postcards recently. And a few old postcards will come to mind and you'll say, I remember that time. And I remember the time of it was a great time of enjoyment, love and peace and harmony. And that's a little meditation on a tree, a very simple meditation on a tree, on the colours of yellow and the bluebells. Remember the springtime and the happy times. I hope that makes sense, but I'd like to, you to go and do a, a meditation of a tree or whatever takes your mind up. Thank you very much. <music>